I always thought the only three reasons babies cried was because they were hungry, they were sleepy, or they were sick. From the signs Anaya is giving me right now, it says that she is tired. The wiping of the eyes, her being fussy, her just kind of being all around irritated. So I sent her up to her room. Later on in this video, we're going to see the solution to this problem. But first, let me introduce you to our sponsor. My name is Armpit Juice. <laughs> I'm the most feared fighter on the West Coast. No one can defeat me. The only way you can defeat me is if you get deodorant and put it underneath my underarms. You smell that stink? Do you smell that stink? Yeah. Now, if you've been watching this channel for any longer than a year, you know that I've had my fair share of issues with deodorant. I've tried all kinds of products that I thought would be good for my health, but they weren't. And so when Native Deodorant came along and said they would like to sponsor a video, I thought, of course. And one of the reasons why is because it's aluminum free, sulfate free, and paraben free. They sent me two different scents. One was the citrus herbal musk and the other was eucalyptus and mint. Now, my favorite was eucalyptus and mint because it was a softer scent. Whatever scent you choose, native deodorant is the right direction. It's made from ingredients I can understand and unlike a lot of other natural deodorants, it works. You can pick up native deodorant at Target and at Walmart. Okay, so Anaya never went to sleep and we are here again with the irritated, tired baby who just can't seem to be comforted. And so um, I pull myself away from playing with the kids to comfort and lay with Anaya to try to get her to go back to sleep. Now, uh, what's interesting is that she, though she's tired, she doesn't really want rest in the form of sleep she wants rest in the form of connection and so um i was the one that was actually tired because i couldn't take her screaming uh, that was draining for me so i sent her away uh, but what she really wanted was connectivity if i wanted to if i really wanted to solve the problem in that moment giving her a hug and cuddling with her at that one moment while she was crying would have uh, probably soothed her and allowed her to be energized again but the connection we just had as you can see is helping her uh, get more energy and so uh, right now as we are connecting uh, she's getting more energy and I fall in asleep and she has decided that she is now bored and so she wants to find uh, something to do uh, <laughs> This is the most beautiful thing right here. She's very looks very mature and she's like, well, I'm, I might as well leave if he gonna fall asleep then. And she tries to sneak away. Um, now eventually she goes and walks away and I call her back in the bed. And um, you know, we're just kind of chilling and connecting. She pulls out her favorite snack. We begin to uh, munch on her favorite snack. And it's just a connection between her and I. And she never goes back to sleep that day. <laughs> Uh, she totally feels rejuvenated by the connection. And so I always thought it was, okay, either you're tired or you're, you got a you need a diaper change and you're not feeling well, you're sick. Uh, but some, it's not always that simple. And those three solutions are really to soothe me, not so much to soothe her. Um, it has to be one of these a, B, or C answers because this is all I have patience for. If you're sick, I can understand that. If you have a diaper change, I can understand that. We'll change your diaper. If you're hungry, uh, I can understand that. Um, and if you're sleepy, we have a solution for all of those problems. However, if you want connection, I may not have time for connection. And so uh, this is just a little food for thought for the parents out there who may be in this season of, you know, having a fussy toddler two-year-old and they just can't seem to get the solution to the problem and sometimes the problem is just as simple as being there being present 
Once again, I want to thank our sponsors, Native Deodorants, for sponsoring this video. Uh, make sure you check them out. When you support our sponsors, you support us. That's a really big deal for us. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, protect your life. Keep your network popping. Thank you so much for watching. If you're fortunate enough to be doing life with someone else, make sure you watch this video with them. And if they're not around, share it with them. At the end of every episode, we shout out someone from our email list who has an Instagram account. And that person this time is... Thank you so much. We appreciate you. We support you. We like you. Uh, yeah, man. We'll see you guys next time. Peace. Whoa!